I am Randy Robinson. This is Life Today TV. I am talking to Kylie Basuti, who won uh, a Victoria's Secret contest and uh, became a model for Victoria's Secret. But now she's written a book called I'm No Angel, from, from uh, Victoria's Secret model to role model. Kylie, thank you for taking a few time, a few minutes to talk to us. And I, I want to know, I, you know, I guess everybody wants to know, oh, tell me about Victoria's Secret, blah, 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 you know. And, and sure, we can talk about that. But I'm curious about the role model part. What is it that you're trying to convey? Well, you know, I'm trying to um, teach girls uh, that true beauty comes from within. Um, it's trying. easy for you to say when you're a model, <laughs> though, but I mean, you really, girls struggle with the way they look. Yeah, you know, even models struggle um, big time with the way that they look. Uh, I think that the pressure is really on women uh, and girls in general. I think it's, it's really a place where Satan attacks because uh, hmm. he knows that we're weak in that area. And so, you know, my whole goal is just to uh, help girls um, who are feeling that immense pressure from the media uh, on how they're supposed to look, you know, to be accepted by the world, um, that Christ accepts you just the way that you are, and He made you. Um, he made you, and He loves you uh, just the way that you are, and He looks at the beauties of your heart rather than your outer appearance. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I always tell people we're going to spend eternity with Christ. Uh, the one who looks at our heart. So why are we trying to, you know, live for the pressures of the world when we're only going to be here for a short time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. I, I forget. I wish I could uh, just forgive me for forgetting the the author, but I posted it on my Facebook page recently, and, mm -hmm. and it was, oh, you know, it's Dennis Prager. You know, he is mm -hmm. radio guy. Okay, just showed my age. He said, if we would spend as much time grooming our souls as much time as we do grooming ourselves, yeah. how much better off would we be? Something to that effect. But I kind of hear that that's a little bit of what you're saying because I, you know, I have two daughters, two teenage daughters. And so I get, I get the self-image thing. You know, I mean, I'm always having to say, you know, sweetie, you, you know, you're beautiful. And I know, ah, oh, dad, I, they want to hear it from, they want to hear it from others. And really they want to feel it. Is it really possible? Well, let me ask you two questions. When the world is telling you how beautiful you are, do you feel beautiful? Uh, no, actually, um, that's one of the reasons why uh, I was pursuing this career is because I wanted that attention. You know, I wanted everybody to tell me that I was beautiful. Um, and but... once, once they were, <laughs> you still didn't feel it. I mean. Yeah, you know, I had um, the whole world telling me that when I won the huge Victoria's Secret yeah. Runway Angel competition. Um, I was one of the most Googled people on the internet. <laughs> um, everybody was telling me. Every teenage boy was Googling you know, your name, right? <laughs> that I was beautiful, yet that was one of the most insecure nights of my life. Mm. Um, what I've found uh, and learned through all of this is that um, I never truly felt beautiful until I started seeing myself the way that Christ sees me. Now, are you just saying that because it's it's a good spiritual thing to say, or, or do you really? I mean, is that something that is really down in your soul? No, that is something that is really, really uh, true. My husband can tell you. Uh, he's seen, you know, my insecurities, my struggles, my ups and downs, and. Uh, you know, if it had been a couple, of, a few years ago, uh, I wouldn't be sitting here um, like I am now, just, you know, very confident, uh, modestly dressed, without the hair extensions, <laughs> my natural hair color, well, yeah. trying to grow out my natural hair color, yeah. um, you know, no fake eyelashes, no spray tan. I had to have those things before because I was so insecure, yet really? everybody was, you know, telling me I was beautiful. Right. Um, today, I could go, you know, without makeup and feel absolutely beautiful because uh, I'm looking at the things in my heart that Christ looks at. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've never been, you know, more confident in my life. Mm -hmm. Of course, I still struggle. I'm, I am a woman. <laughs> and I believe that, you know, we're always going to struggle with things because that's just, we're humans. We have that fleshly, you know, Yeah, how do you, how, how do you balance, you know, 
that kind of seeking you know, the attention of others and trying to feel beautiful with just you know taking care of yourself because if you just let yourself go and put on you know lots of weight and didn't comb your hair and just wore old torn sweatpants all the time hmm. that would not be sending a good signal either where do you where do you see that that balance of you know grooming yourself and take care of yourself and take care of your body versus trying to impress others and trying to get affirmation externally you mm. know where, where is that well you know i think it's really important for women to feel good about themselves um, i'm not against hair extensions and getting spray tans and stuff um, because you know women do those things to feel good about themselves mm. however i used to do it to get attention from other people. Uh, uh, now my heart has changed. Um, God has just changed my heart to where, uh, you know, I'm at a place where I'm not dressing a certain way to try and get attention from other people. Um, but I still want to feel good in what I'm wearing. You know, I want to wear things that are fashionable sure. and I yeah. do want to comb my hair. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I was reading um, a book the other day, an R.C. Sproul book. Um, called The Intimate Marriage, and he was talking about how, uh, how important it is for husbands to um, encourage their wives to be able to wear things that make them feel good, to be able to go get their hair done, you know, do things that make them feel good, to be able to uh, pamper themselves, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I think it's very important mm -hmm. um, to do the things that, you know, make you feel good. Um, and take care of yourself. I think it's a very important thing. Yeah, sounds like a good balance between, yeah. you know, uh, taking care of yourself externally and, and but yet really focusing on the inner beauty that, that won't ever fade mm -hmm. uh, and that, that's really the most important thing. Thanks for your stand. I mean, because it would have been really easy to, to stay where you're at and make lots of money and, mm -hmm. you know, sell lots of whatever they sell at Victoria's <laughs> Secret. I don't <laughs> know, I've never been there. In Hardly life, anything. So. <laughs> Hardly anything. <laughs> All right. Um, but thank you for, for you know, coming out and taking a stand. So check out the book. What's your website if people want to kind of... It's imnoangel.org. Imnoangel.org. And you know you're not a Victoria's Secret angel, <laughs> but you're certainly a lot closer to God's kind of angel these days. So thank you for that. Thanks for spending a few minutes here. Thank you so much.